you've had your starter, you've had your main course, and now for a show-stopping dessert. So I'm going to be showing you my take on a shoe bun. Uh, so a shoe bun, for those who don't know, is probably is a profiterole you may know it as, or an eclair. Um, but this one we're going to fill with rhubarb and custard. So obviously that nostalgic uh, childhood favourite dessert. So to make your shoe bun, we're going to make some shoe pastry first. So in my pan here, I've got my water and I've got my milk. We've got some uh, plain flour, we've got some butter, we've got two whole eggs and one egg white. Make sure you reserve the egg yolk for later on in the dish, don't throw that away. And then a little bit of sugar as well. Bring our milk and water up to the boil, along with our butter, and then also our sugar. So once that is boiling, what you're gonna do is you're gonna add your flour, take like a spatula, and you're just gonna mix it together. So once you see it's starting to come away from the pan, just like so, and it's nice and smooth, that is the first part of your shoe pastry. So I'm gonna put that to one side and leave that to cool. So you get your butter, which I've literally just softened uh, just slightly in the microwave, um, just so it's just past room temperature. So that goes in. You've got sugar, we've got some plain flour as well. I'm gonna put a little bit of ground ginger in there. And all we're gonna do is literally just beat that together. So we're gonna put it onto a little bit of greaseproof paper, fold our greaseproof paper over, and then with a rolling pin, just gently roll that. So probably around half a centimetre in thickness. So I'm gonna put this into the freezer and leave that to set up. Our shoe pastry is cold. We don't want it fridge cold. We've just left it out at room temperature. Um, and now at this point is where we're gonna to start to add our eggs. Add a little bit of your egg at a time. And then that is what we are looking for, for our finished shoe pastry. Now the first thing you need to do is preheat your oven. So we're using the high sensor oven here. Preheat that to 180 degrees. Now what's great about using this oven is it creates a really even bake, which is perfect for baking these shoe buns. Uh, and also what you find is that it's actually got a steam function on there as well. Uh, so you can add water to the uh, to the tray in the oven, make sure it gives you that um, like a really nice rise and that is what you're looking for. So it's absolutely perfect for that. I'm gonna show you one pipe to the piping bag if you have a piping bag at home. And if not, then I'll show you the spoon technique. If you're using a piping bag, you're gonna do it, you're after like a nice dome shape. So that is what you're looking for. If you're using a spoon or a normal tablespoon, how, what I'd normally recommend is like a, a dessert spoon, but like a nice heaped dessert spoon. And then with your spoon, you're just gonna push that down. Get a little bit of water on your fingers, and then you're just gonna smooth off any peaks on there and that'll just make sure that you're nice, even bake. So we're gonna go back to our crack on and grab that from the freezer. As you can see that it's set up nice and firm. And then you can either use a cutter or you can just cut it with a knife. And then we're just gonna lay them on top of our shoe buns. And they are ready to go in the oven. So depending which oven you are using, they'll take anywhere between 15 and 20 minutes. Uh, so I'm gonna put them into the oven to bake now. So after 15 minutes of baking, we're gonna pull these out of the oven. We're gonna turn these over, and we're actually gonna just prod a little hole in the bottom of each one. And what that does is that releases any steam that's in the buns, and then we're gonna leave them to cool. So what we're gonna be making is we're gonna be making a custard creme diplomat. So basically what we're going to do is we're gonna make a custard. Uh, so we've got our milk, um, in our pan and in there we've got some vanilla pod infusing in there. We have two egg yolks and then to our egg yolks we're gonna add our sugar. I'm gonna be adding custard powder. So custard powder goes in there too. All we're gonna do is whisk them together. So once our milk has boiled, we're going to pour that over our egg yolks and we're gonna put all that into our bowl and then we're gonna give it a good mix to incorporate it. We turn it back to our pan. On a medium heat till it starts to thicken. And then once you've got this consistency, we're gonna pull that off the stove and then leave that to cool. Uh, I've just put placed mine in a bowl here, just so it cools nice and quickly. We're just gonna lightly whip some cream. Take your soft cream. 
and add that to your custard. So that just makes it a little bit lighter. And then you're just gonna fold that through. All I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put that into the fridge and then leave that to chill. Now I'm just gonna go through a few little garnishes that we're gonna serve with our shoe buns. So firstly the rhubarb, we've got in our pan, we've got some water and our sugar and we're just gonna bring that up to the boil. So there we're gonna add some uh, vanilla pod and then also the zest of a lemon. So I'm gonna use a peeler to get the zest in there just cause I don't want all the little bits of lemon zest stuck to my rhubarb, I just want the flavor of it. So we're just gonna create in some nice little slices. Now this is literally gonna poach for probably around two or three minutes. So we need something crunchy. Uh, so we're gonna make a really quick, simple crumble. Uh, instead of using flour, we're gonna replace the flour with oats. So we have our oats, you got your butter, you have some sugar in there. We're gonna put a little bit of ginger in our crumble. And all we're gonna do is literally rub the butter into our oats and then we're gonna just cook them uh, back in the oven at around 160 degrees. Put that onto our tray and then just bake that for around 10 minutes. We're gonna make a little caramelized white chocolate sauce to accompany uh, the shoe bun. And it's actually a really quick sauce to make and we actually make it using the microwave. So the white chocolate goes into a microwavable bowl. Heat this in 30 second increments. After 30 seconds, not quite melted yet, but you're gonna give it a stir and then go again for another 30 seconds. So I've repeated that process with the microwave for around three minutes. And as you can see, we're starting to get this caramelization of the white chocolate. Uh, so to this bowl, I'm gonna add my cream and my milk. Give it a good mix and it'll firm up, but don't worry about that at all. And then we'll put it back in the microwave uh, for one more minute. And then that is how easy it is, is to make your little caramelized white chocolate sauce. We're gonna get down to plating it up. So first I'm gonna grab my shoe buns and for the shoe bun, what we're gonna do is we're gonna slice the top off here. So we're gonna put a generous helping of custard into each shoe bun. We're gonna take our poached rhubarb and we're gonna garnish on top. On top of each shoe bun, we're gonna serve a little bit of our crumble. So we're, we're gonna put those on top. And we're gonna finish it with just a little bit of fresh mint on top as well. So sprinkle that on top and then we'll put that onto our serving plate. And then for the alternate indulgence to finish off your dish, you've got your white chocolate sauce, and then we just pour that all over it and enjoy. 